Hey YouTube, this is Ted from KWG Paint Fans. Uh, what I have in front of me is a Proto SLG basic uh, paintball gun. Um, some initial thoughts about it before I get to opening up. A uh, solid ass marker. Like this is more solid than a prosthetic leg. Okay, this is this is an amazing marker. If you are uh, new to paintball and uh, you know you're like, oh, you know, I don't know what I should be getting. Uh, uh, get this. Just hands down, get this marker. Um, a lot of people are going to give this marker crap because, oh, it's a seer tripper, oh, it's a seer tripper. Um, if you are only willing to spend $150 on a paintball gun and you're going to complain about it, uh, getting something of this awesomeness and it's a seer tripper, you need to leave the sport, okay? If this was a seer tripper paintball gun costing eh, $500, then I would understand where you're coming from. But this is $199. Okay, it's 200 bucks for a seer tripper that is like freaking like a PMR. I mean, this thing really awesome. And uh, you need to stop complaining if that's what it is or just spend more money and get a different gun. So, yeah, I'm going to open it up here. Uh, always can trust Proto and Die um, to package their stuff real nicely. Okay, got the manual here. Quick note about the manual. It is not a porn magazine, so if you are reviewing an SLG, don't go, really amazing manual, oh my god, like you're trying to molest someone through their webcam, okay? No, this is an excellent manual, that's all you gotta say, it's full color, really detailed, got little tips here and all that other stuff, just of how you could kick some major ass out on the paintball field, okay? It's not Playboy, alright? So yeah, set that off to the side get to the good stuff here um yeah look at that this is a proto slg uh basic as you can see i got a couple upgrades on here this is not a stock trigger this is a cp sling trigger this is not the stock clamping feed neck this is a cp clamping feed neck uh but that's pretty much all the visible upgrades on here um some notes though about this gun that is really crucial that you know okay to start don't need to upgrade the uh, regulator. This is the Hyper 3 regulator. Every SLG that exists comes with a Hyper 3 regulator. So I know I remember hearing, um, I remember actually reading on some forums and PayPal forums saying, oh, the 08 only comes uh, with their own stupid regular old regulator, but the 09 and 10 come with a Hyper 3. They're all Hyper 3. The only difference is on the 08 SLG, the Hyper 3 regulator is threaded differently. Okay? Um, also, ASA that comes with it is not on-off, but you can't really complain about that. They had to cut a bit of corners to make this gun $199. Um, comes with a proto slash die sticky grip on here. Really thin. I was surprised. I was afraid I'd have to update the grips so it wasn't so thick. No way, man. These are really thin. They're really comfortable in the hands. Um, quick thing I want to talk to you about is how you can distinguish this from a UL SLG. A UL SLG's uh, grip has an hourglass shape so it gets thick here and then thins out and then gets thick as you go to the top also the ul doesn't have this cool looking thing here or any of these right here it's all one solid color with a strip back here and proto written here um another thing is uh this gun's firing modes it comes with four it comes with uncapped semi on the basic you can go to 25 on the ul you can go to 33 psp ramping uh, PSP 3 ball ramping, sorry. Um, the difference is between PSP ramping and PSP 3 ball is let's say I'm playing here, okay? I'm shooting, ba 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 ba, it starts to ramp, but then I start, then I stop, okay? This is what's gonna happen. When you're peeking out of the bunker with PSP ramping, pull the trigger, one ball's gonna leave. With PSP ramping 3 ball, you're shooting, shooting, ramping, 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 you stop for a second, you peek out of the bunker, you pull the trigger, three balls are firing out, okay? So that's the difference, that's really huge. Um, it comes with NXL Full Auto, and it also comes with Millennium, which we all love. Um, yeah, major upgrades that are a must. Update the ASA, okay? Uh, this has a dovetail mount integrated right into it. You don't have to buy an adapter or anything like that. The dovetail hangs off this frame here. Just get a dovetail ASA, mount it on, you're ready to play. Update the clamping feed neck, okay? The stock clamping feed neck is made of composite polymer. And uh, when you're using it, yeah, it's nice, yeah, it's fun to shoot at, or whatever, but when you take that shitty dive, or when you tighten it too close, crack, you need to get a new feed neck. Also, update your back cap here. 
this is composite polymer, but you can always get an aluminum one. Got an aluminum one right here. Um, and other than that, that's all you need to do. Quick note about the composite polymer, though. It, everyone's like, oh, it's plastic, oh, it's plastic. And I tell them, if it was plastic, then it would break, okay? This is durable ass shit, okay? Um, don't try and argue me, with me on this one. The grip frame and the structure of this SLG is stronger than the Proto Matrix rail grip frame and structure. Fact. Already been proven. Already know this. Wikipedia, that shit. I know it's the truth, okay? Now, let's uh, pull this up here. Um, the stock battery that comes with it is a freaking Proto battery. I shit you not, it exists. It is a battery that says Proto Paintball on it. It is so cool. Um, you get dye lube, but um, I already ran out of that. I got some final solution grease right here. And, of course, you get your stock 11-inch proto barrel. Um, yeah. Update this. Get a new barrel. This isn't a two-piece barrel. It's one piece. And I didn't really like it, and that's why I have a two-piece proto barrel. That's a lot nicer, a lot smoother. Love the two-piece barrel. But if you're tight on cash, this is still an excellent barrel. Uh, considering the kind of stuff you may get from like spider, you know. Anyway, so yeah, that's the marker. Um, I think I covered just about everything I wanted to for the unboxing, initial thoughts, and quick review. Um, I'm gonna be making more videos about how to do stuff with this. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video. I really hope it helped out, and I hope I gave you a good quality video. I know a lot of unboxing videos, everyone's like, oh yeah, so here's the, uh, here's the Proto SLG, I don't know if you can see this right now, I don't, I don't know if you can see it, um, and here's the foam it comes with, uh, you know, I mean, they, did they smash it up against their camera, so I hope I gave you, uh, something you could actually follow and see, um, thanks for watching.